Hey guys, another video today. I know probably hell has frozen over and that's why we're all here right now. Um, but I did want to do my art haul because I am getting back into drawing and painting again and I don't know, I decided it would be fun. Um, I joined the Art Geeks community. Um, I don't know if any of you know, but Sweet Pagan Rose is a member over there and she does tutorials. and. She's been talking about it a lot and all the art journaling she's been doing, so I joined hoping that it would, you know, continue to motivate me and also I can post my pictures up there, maybe get some feedback or at least, you know, have a catalog of things that I've drawn. So, or painted for that matter. So, anyway, here it is. I went to Michael's last weekend just to um, kind of take a look at the supplies that they had and see what was going on. Um, I had all intentions of buying Prismacolor pencils and then when I saw that they cost $120 for the pack that I used to buy as a teenager in my art studio, I was like, wow, my parents must have really loved me <laughs> because they're very expensive. And I don't know how many of you have used the Prismacolor pencils, but um, I'm just going to show you my whole like tackle box. But... This is them, and you know, looking at this, I really probably didn't need to buy any, and after I reflected on the $120 price, I was like, you know what, I think I'll survive on what I have for now. So, I mean, but if you ever get a chance to buy them, they're the best color pencils that you can get, and I draw very heavily with them. They're waxy. Um, other color pencils can get kind of chalky, and I don't like that, and they aren't as pigmented, so these are very pigmented and waxy. And I draw really hard with them to the point they almost look like acrylics. Um, but I really wanted to get back into that, although now I feel like I should save them up as if they were gold coins because they are very expensive. But, you know, I guess that makes sense because all the good quality stuff is going to be more expensive. But holy crap, I didn't realize how much money my parents spent to send me to art class. <laughs> um, but one thing that I did want to buy was a little travel case for my graphite pencils and my husband was actually with me while we were out and I found just like this plain gray case and then as we were walking out I found this bright pink and sparkly pencil case and I decided to put the other one back and get this one and my husband was like, all right Jen, we'll, we'll go take the professional looking pencil case back so you can get the one that five-year-olds used and I was like, okay, that's fine. Um, Right now I'm just storing my basic graphite pencils in there and some of my blending stumps. I love my blending stumps. I have them in all different sizes and life would be worthless without them. And my erasers and things like that. Um, I'm actually missing my gummy eraser. I don't know what happened to it, so I need to buy another one. Um, I had used it for something and it disappeared, but um, that's my favorite one to actually draw with is the, the squishy gummy eraser. So that's missing, but I got this pencil case. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was worth it. It could have been a thousand dollars. Well, maybe not a thousand dollars, but it's pink and sparkly. So it had to be mine. Then back in the day, I had this really cool um, art palette. It was, I don't know, probably like 12 by 18 inches. It was a huge watercolor palette. You can squeeze the watercolors out and use. And I think my parents still have it. I have no idea where, but I loved it. Um, in any event, I really needed some type of watercolor thing, and I got these. Um, they're not, you know, the greatest, but it's a pan anyway, and it was only five bucks, and it came with a bunch of pans, and it's reusable, you know. Like, you can always peel the watercolors off if you want. Um, but I really didn't think it was that bad of a deal for five bucks, and I can use them for, you know, whichever, whatever painting I'm working on at the time. And then I also got just a watercolor pad. Um, I'm really picky about my watercolor pads, and this one seemed okay. It's a little too grainy for my liking. It's probably not going to show up. Um, I'm not a big fan of watercolor pads that are really grainy, but this seemed like a good compromise for the price, so I guess I'll survive. So speaking of watercolors, I did have to buy all new ones since, well, I guess that's not really true. I have some of my older ones in my art bin. Um, I don't like the, the palettes that you buy with the watercolors already in it. I like the ones that look like this. And these are my favorite kind. Um, these are really old now, so I had to buy new ones. But they come in the little tubes. Um, this is Grumbacher. Yeah, and then that's 
they look like. And they're fantastic. I love them. They're so pigmented. Um, they're not pastel-y at all. Um, and I have a bunch of them, but it's just that they're old, so I didn't know how well they would actually work. But anyway, so I had to buy new ones, and so I picked up these Artist Loft um, watercolor paint tub, and they have these um, also for oils and acrylics. Um, I didn't know, I mean, they were on the cheaper side, so I doubt um, the oils and acrylics would be that great, but I thought for the watercolor it might be worth trying because at least they're liquid, and because they're liquid watercolors, they're probably going to be a little more pigmented than if I bought them in the palette already. Um, so this really wasn't that expensive. I forget how much it was. It might have been like 10 bucks. So, but it's worth it. It comes with a whole bunch of colors, 24. Um, and there's two each of 12 colors. So this ought to last me a while and you know, you can always blend the colors if it doesn't come with one. And then I got myself another sketch pad. Um, I do have a sketch pad already, but I wanted more, um, more of one that's kind of on the journal side. So I got this thing. I thought it was cool because it had the stars, but it was still plain. I'm really a purist when it comes to this stuff, so I just got a plain one with a little whimsy, I guess, on the front. And then, you know, it's just the plain old paper sheets. That'll be fun. And since my husband knows that I'm a purist, he was with me when I was trying to pick that out, and I really hated, like really hated, all the journals that they had there. They were too... Oh, I'm an artist. Look at the art on the front of my journal. I'm such an artist. Oh my god, I'm an artist. So he, for Valentine's Day, got me this really nice moleskin um, sketch pad. And it's just a little guy that I can keep in my purse. And, you know, it has just the closure and then a little bookmark in the top so you can keep track. Um, and then his little pages. I just like them to be plain. Um, so I really like it. It's really nice. Um, so it, it kind of feels like leather, but it's not. It's like plasticky, but it'll be durable. So um, I'm really happy about this because now I can draw on the run without having to take my ginormous thing with me wherever I go. And then since I have my new pencil case, I can just throw everything in my purse and then, you know, on my lunch break at work or something, have something to do. So that's my latest art haul. Um, I can't wait to use everything, but like I don't, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to. I keep trying to get around to it. I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more painting in the springtime when I can take everything out onto our back porch and hang out out there with the puppy and the cats and just paint. And then we're gonna go to the beach again in May, so I might take my watercolors with me and paint while I'm down there because. Last year I got so sunburned that I've been banned to a tent on the beach, so I'll probably just hang out in there and paint. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Hope you're all having a great weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!